Welcome Walk- back. And welcome back to you, Jim. And welcome back to you, Attorney Leahy. <laughs> I love when you call me Attorney Leahy. <laughs> I'm looking right in the camera right now. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we record this show. That's right. We And you can watch all of this stuff on ChicagoTaxTeam.com. So the two segments that we actually uh, uh, do now are the are the blog, the which blog is segment. where That's you correct. write, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, where you write uh, your uh Blog. Your blog. Yes, right. Your opinion piece on right. all things law. And also the Mr. Nodo, where we get to really pick the brain of the master. But ladies and gentlemen, we want to invite you to go to Chicago Team.com and also if we never if we don't answer any of your questions oh, here on the show. We haven't told people that this this show. I, I understand. That's I understand. what we're doing now. <laughs> okay, well, thank so you. because this is a questionnaire, <laughs> if we don't answer your question, if you have a burning question, we don't answer it. What's the hotline? The hotline number is 312-262-5614. And is that the same one where you can book a hot dog? That is not. Oh, yeah, you can. You can reserve Go a hot dog, for, reserve Joe a hot dog for the Joe Walsh event, and I will reserve a hot dog. You get right up in line. You get to cut in front of everybody. Because here's where, where it works. When I, when I do the hot dog stand, I am always the first one. I always eat the first hot dog. Because then I'm busy and I don't have time to eat a hot dog. And I love those hot dogs. And it so shows. I always have the fir- <laughs> so I always have the first one. And you can have the second one because I'm still going to get the first one. and Or the third or fourth. But you call, ask a question, reserve your hot dog, and I will have it there for you at the Joe Walsh event. Yes. So, without further ado. And now, here's that man with a head just crammed full of knowledge, Mr. Know-It-All. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Know-It-All. The, the segment where... If we answer your question, you get a free car from Attorney Stephen Lee. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's a little car. It's about it's this It's a little big. car. It's, about this it's like you grow, real- <laughs> you grow it in water. <laughs> That's right. So the question we have today is from a young boy named Jake Smith. Wow. And well, it's I love when young boys have IRS questions. It's because they listen to the show. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? We actually have young listeners. Right. So look, ladies and gentlemen, we got a listener right now that's sending us an email, a young kid. It says he's about uh, 12 years old. Send it in. Isn't that amazing? That's he amazing. might be asking. I don't believe it. But can I ahead. get your Can I get your autograph, sir? It's not for me. It's for my dad. <laughs> <laughs> he's got IRS problems, and he's just uh, embarrassed. What is this? Uh, I don't even know what that word is. So we're going to have to. Anyway, is, is, is your the, business the just of that, March? Or is, a, or is your auditor telling you it's a hobby? What should you do? So I had this I had this client just this last week who was being audited, and she said she said she was in the IRS office twice, once for six hours. Oh being, my lord! Being grilled for she started her business with her mother, a wedding a planning business. Uh, she is not. That was her first mistake. She has a no. No, no, no I'm joking. I'm that's joking. kind of the problem. To all the mothers out there, she has a regular job. She has a forty hour a week job, and she makes a. She does okay, and, and her and her mother started a business on the side, and it's a you know like most businesses, it's hard to get up and moving and make money. Right, so you have to spend money to make money. You don't just open a business and start bringing in the money and start rolling in. That's not the way business works. But I got to tell you something: the IRS doesn't understand that because they're not in business for themselves. They get it; they're just a, uh, an employee, and they get a check every week. And they don't like when you think you you can run your own business. So anyway, she just started it three years ago, and she hasn't made money yet, and so she got audited. Now, one of the things she did wrong which kind of caused the audit, or I wouldn't say caused it, but it was a big big part of it, is that she went to a, a tax preparer, a family friend, who really wasn't a very good tax preparer, and put things on her tax return that were false. Okay, she He took deductions that she didn't even know. She, she said, I looked at it. You know, most people, when you go to see a tax preparer, you let them prepare the taxes. They say, and then you ask them, how much am I getting back or how much am I going to pay? And then they say, sign here and we'll send it in. You don't re- review it. And and even if you did, you might not even understand it. So that's why most people don't review it. But it turned out that this guy was taking bad deductions. But she also had a lot of good deductions because she started this business. And the IRS said, nope, you know, this is a hobby. You don't get any of those deductions. And they came back after. Didn't we have a previous episode, which you can see on ChicagoTaxTeam.com, <laughs> well, that's where we favorite. were talking about, that's one where we were talking wicked about tuna. this, Wicked Tuna. That's right. That's right. So we had the Wicked Tuna episode where they said, you know, the IRS says this is a hobby. Nobody does this for a hobby. I'm trying to make a living. Okay. So same thing here. She's trying to start a business to 
to for profit. She wants to make a profit. But the IRS is saying, oh, sorry, you haven't made any money, and so we're not going to let you deduct the expenses of that business. Well, if I can't deduct the expenses of the business, I'm never really going to be able to start a business, right? Because... How am I? Gonna, I can't take my own money and put it in there and not be able to deduct it because it'll just cost too much. And so this is a problem. And this is why I'd never go see the IRS by yourself. Audits are, you know, people say, "Well, I didn't do anything wrong. Why should I? Why shouldn't I go see the IRS by yourself?" Because then you'll be like my client and sit there for six hours, and at the end of it, she's crying like a little girl, and and they're they're just soaking it up. They're loving it. The IRS, the, the woman, she they said, want you. She to. said she was the meanest woman I ever met. Okay, and then she, and she's the one that's, that's uh, passing judgment on her and making her pay, and her bill came out to be more than thirty thousand dollars. Okay, so now now she and came then to did us. you go in and you help? Well, them? we're helping her now. We haven't we haven't uh, gotten a remedy yet, but we're working on it, and we will get a good. Well, remedy guess what, it. ladies and gentlemen, if you have the meanest, orneriest person at the IRS, anyway, I hope that answers her question. Thank you, Mister Know It All. If you have the meanest, orneriest, is that the proper the way? Good, orneriest. Yes. Uh, tax person at the IRS Auditor. coming after you. Yes. You got one guy in your corner. That's Let me right. tell you who that is. That's Stephen Leahy, and he's going to fight for you. That's fight right. for Chicago. You got to have what someone fight for you. You got to have someone fight. That's for right, you. ladies and gentlemen. Remember three one two six six four six six four nine. This man will fight for you. And stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, because after the commercial break, we're going to wrap this show up with a little bit of fun. So stay tuned on AM five sixty. The, the answer. answer.